You know something is wrong when the cost of a single 24-pin cable required to connect a vintage Roland guitar synth system is equal to the cost of a vintage Roland guitar. This video clip outlines a retrofit cable kit for vintage Roland 24-pin guitars and synthesizers that can free you from the tyranny of relying on overpriced vintage cables. First, this modification is completely reversible. If you want the option of returning your gear to its original condition, no problem. Second, the way these parts go together, no soldering is required to install the kit. Everything can be done with the screwdriver. Finally, there is a huge cost savings for cables. This year, two 16-foot, 24-pin cables sold as a set on eBay for $500. And just recently, two single cables sold individually for $300 each. And last year, one cable sold for an astonishing $431. But at Amazon.com, you can buy a 25-foot Belkin F3D 111 cable for $6.99. So you can pay up to $26.94 per foot for 35-year-old unshielded used Megami cable or pay 28 cents per foot for superior quality new Belkin cable. First, a little history. I have been using 25 conductor Belkin F3D 111 wire as a replacement for the original Megami cabling when rebuilding vintage rolling cables for a decade. I believe this is a higher quality cable than the original Megami cable. The Belkin cable is data grade with the addition of shielding, which the original Mogami cable did not have. The Belkin cable has a dedicated ground wire plus one spare conductor in case there is a failure, but none of the cables I have rebuilt with the Belkin cables have had any failures. When I created the RC1324VR in 2011, I designed the output port to accommodate a rolling 24 pin connector. Then I created special DB25 pin mounting plates that were made with the same external dimensions as a Roland connector, but with an internal opening cut for the DB25 pin connector. I used these plates, plus some spare Roland ribbon connectors I had on hand. These ribbons are used internally in Roland vintage guitars and synths between the 24 pin connectors and the circuit board. I religiously followed the Roland specifications when attaching the wires from the DB25 connectors to the Roland ribbons. And this is important. The guitar ribbon connectors and the synth ribbon connectors are wired slightly differently. For example, pin one on the B side of the guitar and synth ribbons is the A string, but pin two on the guitar ribbon is the D string, while pin two on the synth ribbon, same position, is the low E string. This has to do with the reverse symmetry of the 24 pin connecting pattern. If you want to work this out for yourself, I have all the documentation to download on my website, jones.com forward slash gr300 or simply gr300.com. To keep things clear, I attach labels to the ribbons to identify which ones are for guitar and which for synth. All the Roland guitar boards have ribbon connectors labeled G2 and G3. The synth designation is slightly different, but the synth ribbons have labels for the GR300, GR700, and GM70. This kit does not work for the GR100 since the 24-pin connector is soldered directly to the PC board. Next, I needed to mount the 25-pin connectors on the guitar and synth. The DB25 connectors are ever so slightly wider than the original Roland connector, so they will not flush mount. Luckily, I had some spare Roland mounting rings. So, on the mounting ring, I cut away the portion that holds the locking connector in place. With this change, the middle of the mounting ring is big enough to accommodate the DB25 pin connector. So I layered the DB25 pin connector on top of the mounting ring and put the whole assembly in place. This works perfectly, and as you can see, the spacing is ideal. Alternatively, you can widen the 24 pin opening by a fraction of an inch to accommodate the DB25 pin connector. This will flush mount the connector. I modified both a GR700 and a US2 in this way and cut away maybe a millimeter of metal on each side. I have successfully done this modification to a Roland G303, 808, GR300, GR700, GM70, hardwired it to a US2. I did this mod on a Korg Z3 as well, but the Z3 has no ribbon connector. 
so the wires from the DB25 pin connector are soldered directly to the PC board. Basically, I have switched all my personal synth gear over to the 25 pin format. I have plenty of spare Belkin cables on hand and find that I do not have to worry so much about maintaining precious, expensive, and impossible to find Roland 24 pin cables. Contact me if you'd like more information about getting your own retrofit kit or check out my website as I mentioned and download the documentation and try it out for yourself.